Okay, where do we see ads? In fact, I wonder if you even have, have you ever ran ads before? Um, I think I, yeah, I think I have run ads. Yeah, sponsored ads. Yeah, sponsored ads. The recent ad activity. Because I think we may have to set up a new a new ad account, and that's what I think we have to do. Because it would it would show right there. Go ahead and go ahead and open up a new tab. Let's um yeah let's start from the very very beginning. Go to um business dot facebook dot com business dot facebook dot com, and let's see if. Okay, so that I guess I gotta spell it correctly. That'd probably help. Oh, there we go. I was like, dang it, did they change that too? <laughs> ah, that works a little better. There we go. <sighs> Slowly getting there. Okay, so let's there see if. Okay, cool. Okay, so go ahead and go ahead and click ads from here, and then once we're in the ad section, I'll have you bookmark a few pages. So it looks like you're you're good to go. So, okay, perfect. So let's click on. Let's click on home, the, the home there at the top. Yeah, there we go. Click on home. Okay, so you're, you're actually in a different section. Click on more tools. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, click on ads manager. We'll start from, we'll start. We're, and so here's what we're going to do. There, there's a bunch of things in there, in there that I'm going to have you bookmark. That way it can just, because it can be complicated and overwhelming when you look mm -hmm. at all this stuff and, and most of it, you don't even have to go to. So I want to just kind of make it simple and, and, mm -hmm. and bookmark everything. So let's start there. Let's go with the ads manager and then at the top, and then you can close that other tab, the, the one with the one in parentheses, that one, close that one out. Whoa. Got it. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. That's okay, I guess. All right. Get. That's, that's where we want to go here. Yeah, so we want to be right here. And then just close out the other tab, the other Facebook one. There we go. Yeah, that one right there. All right. That way we don't. <laughs> oh, okay, that stupid thing's in the way. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can I move that? And it drops down on me up there. So you can't really control it. <laughs> so let's let's oh, see no. if we have to confirm this account. Um, it's may been, it may have been a while since you've been in here. So now we notice some unusual activity in your account. So we temporarily just say, okay, so go ahead and confirm it. And then what, what they'll probably do is send you an email. Okay, perfect. So they just took you here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Add account disabled. We notice some, okay, so get started. Interesting. Oh, is that your card 2434? Yeah. Okay, so... Man, we might be, um, this might be, this might just delay us a bit. So now, and you don't have to screen share for this one, but this is what they're going to do now. So log into your online account mm -hmm. for Visa 2434, find the $1 USD transaction with the word Facebook, and then find the four gotcha, character gotcha. code. All right. So... Pull, and this uh, happens sometimes this happens automatically and instantly but sometimes that may take a couple of days gotcha, gotcha so go ahead and and stop sharing and if you do you have online access to that account yep okay well, if i can shift it over okay awesome so perfect so now we're back so okay so here's what we're gonna do let's let's make some room at the top like let's maybe maybe delete that facebook icon in the toolbar in the top in the bookmarks bar and we'll just add that into a folder. Yeah, delete that one because what we'll do is we'll, we'll replace it with an actual folder and then we'll dump everything in that folder. So you make a new folder here? Yeah, do you have... Um, add folder? Yeah, let's add folder. Perfect. And let's call this one... Let's call this one... Um, let's call this one uh, Ads Manager. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, so this will be... This will be, and then hit the drop down real quick. You see your name at the top left, right where it says campaigns and it says David 193. Yep, I'll hit this up here. Yeah, hit that drop down. Okay, perfect. So this is your one account. Okay, good. Okay, so let's let's bookmark this page and we're gonna call this one a dashboard. So we'll call it dashboard and then we'll put it in the in the ads manager folder. All right. Can I call this one? Dashboard. 
dashboard. So this is where you'll be able to see any running ads or any ads that are that are that have completed. But this is the main dashboard where you'll be able to see all the metrics and and all that stuff. And then and then whenever it's just good habit to get into. Whenever you um, now these ads right here are they've completed. They're already off. Yep. But rather than leaving them blue because they're blue when they're on, mm -hmm. but it completed because the budget maxed out, so it completed. Yep but it still shows blue. So what I do is I kind of just get in the habit of making sure that when that ad is off, just shade it to gray. Cause it'll make it easier to the eye when you come in here and you're looking at your dashboard when you have multiple ads running and you'll yeah. see blue, you automatically know it's on gray, you automatically know it's off. So it just makes it a little easier to the eye. And then, and then these are your three tabs. So we'll spend a little bit of time right here real quick. These are the three steps. So campaigns, Ad sets for one campaign, which is the middle tab. Go ahead and click on that middle middle tab. Which one? Oh, ad sets for one campaign. Okay. Yeah, everything's broken down by these three tabs. And as we as we go in and shade that one gray, as we go and click the green button to create a new ad, you don't right. gotta do it now. But but as you go and click click that and set up a new ad, these are the three steps. So campaigns, ad sets ads these are the three steps that we go through as we set up an ad so when you're when you've complete when you set up an ad and you and now it's already running or it's it's scheduled to run this is the dashboard so this is where you can just get access to everything click on one tab and then you can go into that one tab and see the targeting see the budget see all that stuff and so this 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 right here are just the three basic it's what i call the three pillars but they're really three tabs and just the three steps on, on what it takes to set up an ad. So click on the third tab, ads for one okay. set. Yeah, ads for one ad set. And then let's shade that one gray. Yep. Perfect. <sighs> okay, cool. And then and then click on, go ahead and X out, you'll X out of the ads one, X out of the third tab. That's right in here. Yeah, the blue one, yeah, there you go. Let's X out of that one, let's X out of the second one, the, the middle one, and then let's go back to the first one real quick because you have this other one that's blue. Actually, no, okay, uncheck uncheck that that second one down. No, no, yeah, the box, yeah, that one. Yep. And then check the first one. Because I think the first one, uncheck that second one though. Quick. I think the first one, click on the add set, this middle tab. Perfect, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so shade this one blue. I mean, shade this one gray, I'm sorry. Okay. Shade that one gray and then see if the third tab has has to be set to gray as well. Perfect. So again, they're all completed. No money was spent after that 50 bucks or whatever mm -hmm. you were spending, but it's just good to the, to the eyeball to, to yep. see them all gray when, and, and just automatically know they're off. So that's just kind of a good habit to get into. Make sure that they're, they're, you shade them. So let's X out of all the blue, one selected, one selected, one selected. X out of all those. Click, click, click. Yeah, so you, what you'll do is when you're on this first tab, which is campaigns, you'll only check one box at a time. Like mm -hmm. that's that because that, th these are two different ads. So in order to see that first ad, 30 seconds of home inspection, for example, you'll just check that one box. Try not to check multiple boxes. Mm -hmm. Just check one box and then that will give you the view in the second tab, which is the ad sets. And then that yep. will give you the view in the third tab, which is the ads. So just look at one at a time. Okay, gotcha, so we gotcha. bookmarked, we bookmarked. Actually, you know what? I don't know why. Go back to your folder real quick, the ads manager folder. Let's um, delete that one. Delete, the, delete that dashboard. Let's do it again because it saved delete. it as all of them were blue. So now we're going to save it now again. So nice. go ahead and save it now. Perfect. Quick. Ads yeah. manager or actually dashboard. Dashboard. dashboard yeah. Man, you'd be really having problems if uh, someone didn't know how to use oh yeah man seriously. <laughs> yeah or didn't know how to type or something and i don't know if it's if, if they do it that way intentionally to kind of weed out people or what like they don't make it user friendly at all like no not at all google's no. even worse like if you go to try to run google ads mm -hmm. or or even youtube ads you know how you're on youtube and you yeah. see these video ads pop up in between whatever video you're watching for example yeah. like it's like it's so much more complicated to set up an ad it's like dang I don't, I don't understand that part. Yeah, you need a bachelor's or degree or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but at the same time, I mean, looking at it for the first time, yeah, it does seem overwhelming, but I'm going to, I'm going to dumb it down for you. Like I'm, I'm going to totally make it easy for you. Yep. Um, okay, cool. So we got this part. This is the dashboard. 
Now what we're going to do is let's click on the dots to the left. Let's make sure everything is set up correctly as dots far as the billing the and left. all that. So those dots to the left, right above your profile picture. I think yeah, there we go. That's kind of the main menu. So right here, yeah. this is where, where you're going to be kind of looking at a lot, a lot of the times. But at the same time, what I'm going to walk you through is everything in here that, that, that is the most important that we have to bookmark. Mm -hmm. So you won't even be clicking on the majority of the stuff in here. Good, because there's too so, much. <laughs> yeah, there is. And, and again, we're going to bookmark all the important stuff. So let's click on billing. Let's go to billing. Yeah. And let's make sure yeah. that that's set up just so we have no hiccups whenever you do start running ads. Um, and then also what we'll do is, okay, so we're good here. Let's click on payment settings. And we'll, we'll change out a few of the settings over here. Perfect. And what you can do also, um, a new way to access your account, select, okay, so that, that's fine. Bookmark this page. Let's bookmark this and let's just call it billing. I guess, yeah, let's go click and call it billing. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, your payment is is every six of the month, which is which is pretty cool. So, with today being the 29th, it might be a good idea to start running ads on the six or anytime after the six, mm -hmm. um, because right now there's no bill due, so you won't be billed on the six. Um, but that's when your billing date starts. So if you started running ads on the on September six, you wouldn't see a bill until October six. October six. Yep. Yeah. So it gives you a full 30 days to run ads. But sometimes when it's a new, actually, I, I think most of the time, most of the time when, when it's a new account or, or, or fairly new um, and there hasn't been that much money spent on it just yet, sometimes they'll bill you every $25 or they'll bill you even every $2, which is crazy. Like you'll set up an ad and let's say it's, you know, five bucks a day and you're running it for 10 days and mm -hmm. there's 50 bucks, but they're billing you every $2 which is crazy. Like, uh -huh. and so let's make sure. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Cause I have a client where they're billing them and it's a brand new spanking brand new account. Yours isn't that new. You spent 50 bucks already. So yep. hopefully, hopefully they, they don't bill you every few bucks, but let's ch click uh -huh. on manage real quick, right there at the top above the amount due yep. manage. Let's click on that. Okay. Yeah. See, so it's every 35 bucks. So mm -hmm. what I do on, in this case is I'll change threshold two, and it's not going to change it automatically, but as you make your next $35 payment, and then as you make your next $35 payment, and I think it might be like three dollars payments later is when they'll really allow the new threshold. Mm -hmm. And what I do on the threshold is I just max it out. Like on the threshold, I'll put something stupid, like ridiculous. Like I'll put like, 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 actually, I think the most you can do in this case is $900. Mm -hmm. So put 900 bucks and you're probably never going to spend that much in a given month. Yeah. Hopefully not, not. Not even <laughs> soon. Yeah. So that just allows them to only bill you once per month, you know, because mm -hmm. you did not reach the threshold of 900. So, you know, bill me on my one, bill yeah. me once on my once. one. Yeah. Instead like of once, 20 right? different times. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and it says right there, as you, um, Raising your bill threshold until you reach 900 yep. for now, you might still receive bills less than 900. So as you mm -hmm. successfully make payments. So, but at least we changed it now. So that's fine. Okay, cool. So if you ever need to change out your card, it'll be right there, but yep. you bookmark this. So this is good. Okay, cool. And then let's, let's click on add accounts to the left. Yep. And this will be another, um, they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Select business account. Okay, perfect. So we're good. We'll so go ahead and there. X that out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So this this right here, the ad account name, what I would do probably what I would do in your case is I would change that to your business name. Mm -hmm. So let's let's change that to your business name. And if you ever have if you ever have any like major like like tech issues, like I'm gonna always be here. Like I can I can pretty much troubleshoot anything inside of inside of this inside of this ads manager, but there's mm -hmm. some some things that will randomly come up where you'll have to reach out to to Facebook, and if you ever do, they'll ask for your ad account ID number, and that's your ad account ID number okay. ID number right there. Gotcha. Okay, so that's what you'll you'll refer to. So got that? Scroll down, 
um let's scroll down scroll down scroll down do you need to change that time zone or is that your time zone uh, if you scroll up i think it was um no oh, yep that's the uh, same yeah, time zone as chicago that. that's mountain time that's weird okay i guess we can leave it at that yeah. That's fine. Okay, cool. And then down here, let's put in all of your information. The more information we can put in here, the better. So business name, business address. Yeah, let's save changes and then bookmark. Okay, cool. Let's bookmark this page. And we'll just call this one ad account settings. Perfect. Hit that, you see that, that notification at the bottom left, number one, hit that little wheel to the left of it. So that right there, I'm pretty sure, actually let's save changes again if we have to. Stay on this page. Yeah, stay on this page, save changes. It might be, scroll back up, it might be the tax ID that is stopping it from being fully saved. Do you have your tax ID on hand or no? Uh, I <clears throat> might. Awesome. Yeah, okay, it's it's cool. in my tax file somewhere. Okay, perfect. So hit that to the to the one notification. Yeah, hit that because I'm pretty sure that's the same. You can go ahead and leave this page. Clicking that would be the same as clicking those dots in the top at the top, but let's just check it. Just yeah, those ones. I'm pretty sure those are the same settings as the ones to the bottom left. Click on the bottom left. Mm. Click. Click. Nothing happening. Okay, let's just let's just click on the dots at the top. That's fine. Okay, cool. Okay, so. We bookmark the ads manager, we bookmark the billing page, we bookmark the ad account page. And then let's go to, and then from this point on, it's really, click on business settings, which I don't think you'll be able to go to, but let's just check it real quick. You can click leave. Okay, so then you have, are these two different, actually no, you just have, okay, so that's fine. So. You see the drop down with your profile picture. Click on click on that drop down real quick. Because you have these other these other accounts. So what I want you to do is I want you to stay in one of them. Mm -hmm. So let's click on that that second one. Yeah, let's click on that one. Let's see if we can delete that one. I think I was. was. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the one to the right. Yeah, let's click on that one. Because I want to try to unclutter as much stuff as possible yeah. for you. So if I made like two pages somehow. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> um, I can go back and click the other one, I guess. Let's go back. <clears throat> so what you'll do or what you'll, yeah, let's just go ahead and click the drop down again in the top right. And then it's the, it's the first one that you'll be in. That's the one that we just changed. Mm -hmm. So click on that one. And then let's, let's click on the one to the left, humble home inspection. Yeah, click yeah. on that one. Because I'm pretty sure this is the, the ad account we just renamed. So it's taking us to the same one. Okay, that's fine. As long as we bookmark everything and, and you can just get back to the bookmarks, then then we'll be we'll be good. Okay, so let's go back to the go back to your folder and just let's go back to the ads manager. Or the dashboard, I should say. Click. Yeah, let's click on this one. Okay, perfect. So this is this is just where you'll be. You'll be you'll be in this account and and you'll keep everything in here because as you've seen on that other page, there's three different ones. One's your personal one, 
Yes. And, then, and then the other ones are these new, are these, are these different humble, humble home inspection. So it's this humble home, the one with spaces, humble capital space letters. Home. Yeah. Capital. One looks more that, official. Yeah. That's the one you'll be, you'll be running out of. And then let's, let's set up your pixel real quick. Let's go to click on the three dot, the, I mean the dots to the left. I guess it's nine dots, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nine dots. <laughs> click on the nine dots and let's go to events manager. And the pixel, I'm going to just show you where it's at. And I think we just have to activate it, but we won't be able to install it just yet um, until you activate the, the pixel is for the landing pages. So click on, click on the, the plus sign plus, um, to, to the left, the green. Oh, that thing right there. Yeah, there we go. So we got, we got custom conversions, which we'll cover on our next call. And then, so, so click out of that. And we're gonna click. We're gonna. Um, we're gonna actually. You know what? Go ahead and, and click on the. Um, click on. Are you clicking on the plus sign or the triangle? Click. Okay. Better. So there we go. Perfect. Okay. So right here, um, web. Yep. Click on on web. Okay, and then get started. Facebook Pixel. And then connect. And then, and then what you're going to do is you're going to name your pixel. So go ahead and name it, name it the business name. All right. Okay. So we don't have, we don't have a web, you have a website, but that's not where, that's not where the pixel is going to go. The pixel has to go on a landing page or it doesn't, gotcha. it, it's not required, but it's the landing page where you're going to be capturing leads. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, so go ahead and hit continue. We'll at least just get this part set up, and then what what you'll want to do is you'll want to you'll want to activate. So perfect. So this is so X out of this, but install code manually. That's what we'll click on next time. All right. So right here, let's go ahead and and go ahead and bookmark this page. And 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 you're gonna you're gonna bookmark this one pixel. <laughs> pixel. Perfect. And then if you hit continue to continue pixel setup, click the blue button, it'll just take you back where you'll manually, you'll click on install code manually. Go ahead and click that. I'll, just, I'll walk you through it, but we won't be able to paste it just yet. But when you copy code, go ahead and click that green one, copy that, and then hit continue. And then turn on automatic advancement matching. You'll always want to turn that part on. Perfect. And then continue. Okay, cool. And then you can X this out. So now you copy that code, which is a bunch of letters and characters. Yep. That's what you paste into your landing page. So what I would, what I would recommend is, is yeah, making sure, making, really making sure that first of all, that you have the budget, right? For landing pages, right? Mm -hmm. Cause once the 14 day trial is up, I, I think that one's like, I, yeah, it's $99 a month for your landing pages. But I always tell people you only really need landing pages is if you're running Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. Like if you're running Facebook ads, if you're giving away some type of PDF, and if you're building an email list, that's what landing pages are for. Yep. So that's what the ninety-nine dollars would would really be justify. You know, you'd be able to justify it well if those are the three things we're looking for. Are we looking to capture a lead? Are we looking to build a list? Are we looking to give away some type of free PDF? If the answer is yes, 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 and yes, then we'll need landing pages and we'll need to be at, you know, $99 a month with it. Yep. So in, in, a, in a perfect, perfect world, like really what you want to be fully looking at as a monthly budget is at least, including the landing pages, at least 400 a month. So whether that's now, whether that's later, whether it's this month, whether it's next month, whatever, like you'll want to start at at least that because you'll want to look at at least $10, $10 a day which is 300 a month for Facebook ads. And then, mm -hmm. and then your hundred a month for your landing page software. So 400 yeah. a month is kind of where you want to, wh what you want to kind of plan on budgeting. Alrighty. Okay. So, so let's go back to click on the, the nine dots, the dots to the left. And we'll, yeah. So we have this part bookmark <clears throat> we'll come back to this once we, once we activate the landing pages. 
<clears throat> so if you scroll down, so we got ads manager, we got billing, we got all that. Audiences is what we'll, we'll, we'll for sure need to do. Um, and we'll do that when, when you have the landing page software. Mm -hmm. But the audiences, that's so important because what you're going to be able to start doing now is creating different audiences based on what people are landing on. So for different web pages, that is, and, and that's even video. So for example, let's say you put out a one minute video, you're going to be able to create an audience of all those who watched half of it mm -hmm. or, or, and, or you're going to be able to create an audience of everyone who watches 15 seconds of it. And, or you'll be able to set up an audience of everyone who watched the whole thing. So the reason why that's so powerful is because as you start to put out weekly ads, whether it's a, whether it's a video or an image, it's, it's still an audience because no matter what happens, like for example, go to your Facebook real quick, go to the newsfeed, go to the newsfeed and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, an example of this, of this, of these audiences. So let's scroll through. Okay. Right there, right there. There's a sponsored post. That's yep. a Facebook ad. So if you clicked on it, Go ahead and click on it. So there's the learn more button. You okay. click on the image. It brings you over to a web page, which this right here happens to be Kartra. Um, Webinar Jam is, is Kartra. So mm -hmm. here's what happens. This right here, they're tracking you. So they just, they have their Facebook pixel on this page. Whoever lands on this page is a custom audience. This is an audience of everyone who landed on the web page. Now, as you, as you click around, go ahead and click on, click on, scroll down and click on, um, get started. As you click on get started, it takes you to another page where their Facebook pixel is on this page as well. And now they know you landed here. So, so inside of webinar jam, they for sure have created an audience of everyone who lands here everyone who landed on the first page as well but for sure everyone who landed here so every single time you click go ahead and click on get started no matter what you click on as you're going further in every single pay every single part of it is pixeled that's how facebook tracks everything but that's the advantage for the advertiser because now webinar gem they know you landed here so yeah. when they go and run their next Facebook ad, guess what? They're going to retarget everyone who landed here, knowing that they were just this far. They were, they were so close to pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. So when they go run their next ad, they're going to be able to talk specifically to that audience. Hey guys, this is webinar jam. I know you got close and you almost pulled the trigger on our 699 plan, but Hey, guess what? Right? So now they're talking to a specific audience because they know you landed here because number one, they have their Facebook, they have their Facebook pixel track in it. But number two, because they, they created this specific URL at the top, you see there home.webernotjam.com forward slash checkout. That URL is a specific audience. Mm -hmm. So as they go and continue to run future ads, they're going to continue to target this specific audience and talk to this audience a different way than they would have talked to, to an audience who never clicked on anything. These are action, audiences. Action. So in your case, your, yours is going to be very simple as far as the layout. It's one page. People will go to one page. They'll yep. enter their name and email. Send me your free, your free home inspection guide. Yep. They, 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 they click send now. They go to a second page. Which is, which is what we call a thank you page. And that's a confirmation page. That's a page that that, 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 that lead would, would have gone to after they filled out the, their name and number to request mm -hmm. the home inspection guide. That's two pages. Page that. one, the landing page. Page two, the thank you page. So in your case, those are pretty much the only audiences um, when, when it comes to a web page that you're going to be setting up. Mm -hmm. And so we'll set that up on our next call when you set up the 14-day the yeah. trial. Um, good. Because, because here's what, here, here's the power of that. You're going to have, so let's get out of this one. Let's get out of webinar jam. Let's go back to the Facebook newsfeed. So ah, you can exit no. this tab. Yeah. Get out of there. I can't get out of there. 
I can you say. drag you could drag that menu bar or whatever it is yeah, the zoom one ah i'm breaking things over here yeah. there we go okay perfect so here so 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 <sighs> as that is the ad and they click on learn more and they go yeah. to your landing page where it says download your free home inspection guide click the inf or enter your information <clears throat> below to instantly have it emailed to you Right, right. That would be something on that you could say on the landing page. Mm -hmm. So here's what happens. That landing page has our Facebook pixel. That landing page, homeinspection.com, whatever you name it, mm -hmm. humblehomeinspections.com, whatever, whatever you name it. But that URL will be an audience because you're gonna have people that see your ads, click on your ads, go to your landing page, but don't fill out the form. Mm -hmm. They got that far. So just like in the webinar, what webinar jam case, you click start mm -hmm. demo, you clicked on a package, you got to the six ninety nine checkout, but you didn't check out. Yep. Those are all different audiences, <sighs> and so that's more extensive. But in your case, it's really just that first page. Some mm -hmm. people, some people are going to get to that landing page and not download, not enter their name and email. Yep. And so that's an audience you want to focus on for sure to retarget for every retarget with every future ad. Mm -hmm. So, so if I ran ad number one, they click on learn more, they go to my landing page, but they don't download their inspection guide. I'm going to use that audience for ad number two. Mm -hmm. So when I go run ad number two, I'm going to retarget all those folks. I'm even gonna I'm even gonna retarget them for ad number three, ad number four, ad number five. I'm retargeting everyone. If you're landing on my page and you haven't downloaded your form, you're gonna continue to see my ad. And that's because I have set up an, a custom audience. So if you go back to to the to the ads manager, that's audiences. So um, actually, let's get out of this one, X out of this one, and open up this the other one. Yeah. There we go. So this is so that would be audiences. So go ahead and click on audiences. So with audiences, you'll set up different audiences based on really in your case, based on those two different types of, of visitors. One visitor landed on the landing page, but didn't download the home inspection guide. Mm -hmm. The other audience are people who did download the seller guide. And how do we know they downloaded the seller guide? Because they landed on the thank you page. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to creating a custom audience, Anyone who lands on the thank you page, that's going to be a very specific audience of leads. Yep. Like we would name that audience leads because they downloaded our seller, our, our home inspection guide. And so with that audience, when you go run future ads, you'll now exclude that audience from ever seeing another ad. Mm -hmm. Because if I downloaded your home inspection guide today, why do I need to see another ad from you about the same download tomorrow? Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's when you'll, you'll be able to exclude that audience from seeing any future ads, which would save you, um, on your cost, first of all, but then it'll allow your audience to not keep seeing you. Like there's been many, many times, like I follow really, really, really smart marketers, but some of them drop the ball. Like I'll buy some stuff, for example, like I'll buy a training course or I'll buy a coaching program or something like that. And, 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 and I'll check out, I'll put my credit card number, I'll buy it. And, 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 you know, everything is confirmed and I, I purchase the damn thing, but tomorrow I end up seeing another ad from them. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, why are you sending me another ad? Three days later, I'll see another ad from them on the same product. And I'm like, why are you sending me another ad? Like I already bought your stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what that does, it not only gets me frustrated from the consumer's perspective, because they keep pitching me the same damn thing when I already bought it. But at the same time, they're spending more money than they need to because they keep targeting people that already bought it. Yep. That that's, that's budget that's being spent. You know, so, so that's why custom audiences are so important. You'll have two. One audience, those who land on your landing page but don't fill out the form. The second audience, people who actually fill out the form. Yep. Right? So, so we'll, we'll do that. But in order to do that, we'll need, we'll need you know, the landing pages. So we'll do that later. But go ahead and – Go ahead and click the, click the blue button anyways, create a custom audience, and we'll bookmark um, this page. So actually, actually, you know what? Let's um, X out of this. Let's bookmark it from here. Let's bookmark it from here. So go ahead and bookmark it from here, and let's call this one custom audiences. So 
there's, there's many different types of custom audiences, which I'll explain. Um, go ahead and click the blue button again, create a custom audience. So, so the examples that I was giving you was website. So that's website. So anyone who lent, you don't have to click on it, but, but right there where it says, use your sources website, that's based on people who are landing on specific pages in my entire website funnel. That's website. But I can also create a custom audience of every, of everyone who's on my list. Like if you have a list, for example, an email list. Of, of, of past homes that, that, that may have never ordered an, an inspection from you. Like if you just have these old, you know, leads of, P, of homeowners that may have never ordered with you or whatever, if you have that email list, or if you have any email list, if you, even if you have a customer list, imagine having a customer email list. So all these, all these homes that you did inspections for, imagine having their list in some type of database. In this case, what you'd be able to do is you'd be able to upload that email list to Facebook and create a custom audience. The name of that custom audience could be clients or customers. Mm -hmm. Now you have a custom audience of all of your past clients. How powerful would it be to run a Facebook ad specifically to them? Hey guys, this is David. I know I, I, I did an inspection on your home last year or a few months ago. Hey, what I'm doing for the month of September is I'm running a promotion where I'm actually giving away a $100 Amazon gift card for any referral that any of my past clients can send me. So if you have any friends or family members that will be looking for a home inspection, I'd love to, to send you a free Amazon gift card. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my page where you can enter your name and email and send me your referral. Looking forward to, looking forward to seeing you. Like that is a specific yep. message to a specific type of person. Mm -hmm. And, and I got to them from a Facebook ad. Like how crazy would that be if one of your past clients all of a sudden saw you in video in their newsfeed? They're like, holy that's shit, crazy. that's, that's yep. my home inspector. <laughs> yep. Right? It'd be kind of crazy, right? So, so you can create audiences around all these right here. Customer list is powerful. Um, and then video. Video is what you'll, you'll be doing a lot of as well if you're doing video. So again, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, imagine doing a two minute video and then you create a custom audience of everyone who watched it. Mm -hmm. Because as you watch, go back to the newsfeed, go back to Facebook, let's scroll through the newsfeed. Just open up the other tab. You can leave this one open because we're gonna come back. Yeah, so scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Let's see if we come across a sponsored, another sponsored ad. There's Karcher. There's Karcher again. So that's an image. Keep scrolling. See, and, and here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The only reason why, like, let's make this super clear. The only reason why, that, yeah, let's stay right here. Let's stay at Jane real quick. The only reason why you're seeing Karcher ads all of a sudden is because you landed on their page. Yep. Now, right now, it's not because you landed on their page right now, although it could have been, but because you landed on their page in the past. Yep. They, they have their Facebook pixel on that page, which allows Facebook to track it. They set up a custom audience around that URL in order to retarget you in the future. That's powerful. That's mm -hmm. what Facebook is all about. So Facebook ads is all about, here's where everyone gets it wrong. Everyone gets it wrong because they, they think they, they can just run one ad with no pixel, with no custom audiences, they think they can just run one ad and see an ROI when the ROI is actually in the retargeting. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you knew I landed on your page, the fact that you, you tracked that I watched one minute of your two minute video and the fact that you're now leveraging that data to send me another ad, that's powerful. That's that crazy. Because in, what's that? That's crazy and kind of creepy. It, right. It, it is. It is. It is. But but again, it's 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 only because you're engaging with my stuff. Yep. Like you shouldn't have watched my one minute video. Yep. You shouldn't have clicked learn more and landed on my webpage. Yep. But because it's you did, <laughs> right? It's your fault. Because you did, there has to be some type of interest. So I'm gonna show you another ad. Yep. And, and that, that's, that's the form of retargeting. That's, that's how people, that's why with video, it's the most powerful because if I keep seeing your face in my newsfeed and it's Dave in front of another house at another inspection, if I keep seeing that 
and and I and and, and and again, I'm only seeing it because I'm watching his stuff. He he's pretty interesting. He's he's educating me. It's pretty it's pretty cool stuff what he's putting out. And and that that's the only reason why I keep seeing it because he's tracking me and he knows I'm watching his stuff. So it's it. Yeah. So scroll down. Let's see if we can go back to a video. I'm sure there's one in here someplace. Do, 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 do. Even this one right here, like, let's just imagine that's an ad. Go back up. Let's just imagine that's an ad. So right there, hover over it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, and it's a short one. It's like a 25 second clip, but here's what's so powerful. (laughs) (laughs) If that was an ad, they would be tracking the fact that you watched it and you would see it. And and that would be a custom audience. So go back to the ads manager. That is an audience under video. So click create a custom audience. Yeah. So, so that would be an audience. So click on video. That would be an audience under video. So we would, we would um, choose a content type. Go ahead and click on that. You may not have any videos, but just oh, click, click in the box. Oh, choose a content. Was. Yeah, see, so here's, here's the breakdown. So with that wow. one video, we can create an audience of everyone who watched three seconds of it. Yeah. So that's why that video, if it was an ad, because I see many ads where they're only a few seconds long, 10 seconds, 25 seconds, very short video. But that person is tracking the fact that I at least watched 10 seconds of it yep. or the fact that I at least watched 15 seconds of it. It was a 25 second video, but I watched 15 seconds of it. I'm in a custom audience. He's showing me another ad. That's wild. Right? So, so Very wild. this right here, but again, it would be wild from a consumer's perspective if they were not engaging in your stuff and, and you were just a pain in their ass where, <laughs> where they're not even clicking your stuff. They're not even watching your stuff, but they keep seeing your damn ads everywhere. Yep. That's no kind of somewhat, that. right. Like that's like, like in your case, like, like if you keep seeing ads on, 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 on let's just say, let's say you keep seeing ads on dog food and you don't even own you a, don't dog. Have a dog. Yep. That would be crazy. That would be you would, from a consumer's perspective, you'd be pissed off. You'd be like, dude, I don't even like dogs. Why in the hell do I keep seeing the damn yeah. ad? That's crazy. That's when that's when their targeting is way off and that advertiser would be spending way more money than they need to because they're targeting people who aren't even interested. Yeah. But if you have a dog and you buy dog food and they know they know you have an interest in dogs and dog food and they're showing you their ads and they happen to have cute ads of dogs jumping around at the playground and you're sitting there watching them, they're going to show you another ad because they know you're engaging in their stuff. So from a consumer's, it's not really creepy. It's the fact that you're, you're interested in what the hell I'm seeing and you keep seeing it. You keep watching it. And that's why you keep seeing my stuff. Don't, don't watch my stuff and you won't see it again. Yep. Right. So it's not creepy. It's actually, it's actually really, really cool when you look at it from that side. Um, because from the advertiser, it allows you to only focus on people that are engaging your stuff. Mm-hmm. Those who are not engaging in your stuff, those who didn't watch 15 seconds, they're not going to see another ad. But those who did, I could possibly show them another one because I got that data. So, mm-hmm. so right here is where you'll just simply choose which audience you want to create. Do we want to create those who watch 15 seconds? Go ahead and check the box or click the click inside of the box, choose a content type. So this is the breakdown. So depending on how long the video is, actually, it doesn't even matter. It could be a 30 second video. People who watched 95% of your 30 second video goes into this audience. Now, the higher in percentage, the smaller the audience will be, right? Because not everyone is watching the whole damn video. So you don't really want to base it off of off of 95% or maybe even 75% right now. If you're putting out one minute videos, two minute videos, maybe, 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 maybe create an audience is around 15 seconds or 25%. If you had a one minute video and created an audience of those who watched 25% of it, that would be pretty cool. Because to sit here and watch and watch that long of your video there's some type of interest especially if i'm in your area especially if i fit the targeting that you're targeting right so it's not like we're targeting cat lovers who hate cats (laughs) right like we're targeting people people that are homeowners we're targeting people who are likely to you know buy a home so our targeting is there and you just happen to be watching my stuff that's why you're in my audience 
you know, so, so you would choose your percentage or you would choose the 50. It's, it's good to start at the 15 seconds and just get as many people, you know, in that audience as you can and just keep retargeting. Um, but this is something you'll do every week when it comes to the video. If you're putting out videos every week, you'll, you'll want to create an audience around and it doesn't have to be multiple audiences for one video. So if this was one video, maybe just do 25%. Or if this was one video, maybe just do 15 seconds. You don't have to create multiple audiences for the one video. Just maybe do 15 seconds or do 25%. No matter how long that video is, mm -hmm. as long as it's over 15 seconds, obviously. You know, so, so that's when you would choose a percentage. So go to just go with 15 seconds, choose that real quick. And then, and then you'll click, you'll choose videos, click on choose videos. And then it'll pull all your videos that are on your business page. Okay. So click the drop down right there where it says pages. And then you'll go down to your page. That one. Perfect. And then all these videos right here, that's what you can create audiences around. But again, I wouldn't create an audience around any of those yep. because they're because those weren't ads and because most likely, in fact, you know what? The first one, or actually, you know what? The, 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 do I really need a home inspection? Mm -hmm. That right there, you ran that as an ad? Yep. Holy shit. Let's create an, an audience around that one. When did you, you did that back in May? Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect. I didn't know you had anything up here. Go in and let's, let's check the box. Check the box for that one. Perfect. Cool. Here's our first custom audience. So go ahead and scroll down and go ahead and, and, and um, continue or confirm. Yeah, confirm. And let's name this one. We're going to name it, right? Their audience name. Um, whatever video that was. So go ahead and name it. I think that was, I think it was 30 seconds. Uh, is, oops. Perfect. And then in, in parentheses, put, um, put through play and through play is just 15 seconds. So those who watched at least 15 seconds of it, that's this audience that's through play through play is 15 seconds. So mm -hmm. create audience. Awesome, man. We created our first custom audience Sweet. and that's around, that's around the video. So every video will create, will create different audiences and really you'll just want to create the 15 <sighs> seconds because that's going to be the bigger audience. That'll be a bigger audience than those who watched 75%. Make sense? Yep. Yeah. So that, so that right there is perfect. So there is our first custom audience. And then as you set up the website and we, we grab the URL and we create custom audiences around, around those folks, we'll just start building a list of all of our audiences right here. And here's where you leverage this. So now let's click on, so we bookmark this page. Let's click on the dots to the left. And then let's go to ads manager. So we pretty much have all of our bookmarks. Our next bookmark is going to be custom conversions, which, which that has to be set up when we have the landing pages because the custom conversion is based on the thank you page URL. So, so that website link for the thank you page, that's the custom conversion. So we won't be able to do that now. But let's, let's try to shoot for that on our next call for sure. So here's, here's the way the custom audiences work and the custom conversions. But we'll, we'll, I'll show you the audience real quick. So click on the green one. And as we go in and start to run ads, what you're going to do is you're 99% of the time, it's going to be conversions. So you'll be, you'll be clicking on conversions. And conversions is for lead capture. That first video you did, you most likely did it under video views. That's why you got a few thousand people to view it. And that's cool, but that's really only cool for the purposes of creating an audience of those who watched it. So now I can retarget them with my next ad, which will be conversions. Gotcha, gotcha. That's kind of the purpose of video views. Video views is to get your brand out there, to get thousands of people to see it. But most importantly, from our side of it all, for, from the advertiser side of it all, most importantly, so I can create an audience of those who watched it or watched only 15 seconds or watched 25%, whatever. But, but that's powerful. So, um, so now as we go into pretty much ad number two and on, we'll focus on conversions. Um, and conversions is for lead capture. 
So click the click the, the continue. I'll show you on this next page here. Um, and, and because you're dealing with homes, you may have to toggle that gray button to, to blue. You may, you may, let me, let's hit the drop down because I know real estate agents and loan originators, they have to go hit the drop down, no categories declared, hit that, and then go to housing. So housing ads for real estate listings, homeowners insurance. Yeah. So you'll end up going with that one or related opportunities. So make sure you always go with that one, housing, and then, and then hit next at the bottom. Okay, so right here, this is where our custom audiences play a role. So the pixel, there's that pixel, but we don't have that pixel on anything just yet. But if you scroll down, there's the conversion event. So what we have to do is we have to set up a custom conversion. And again, that's around the thank you page. So we won't do that just yet. But if you scroll down, like click out of that and just go down to the bottom of the page, it's going to be right here, right here. So here, custom audiences. If you click inside that box, search existing audiences, now you'll be able to, you'll be able to click on custom audiences you can, you'll see all, but just click on custom audiences just so we can get in a good habit. It's custom audiences. So that audience right there now is fewer than a thousand people because I think it hasn't fully actually, yeah, it's fewer than a thousand people. So all of you got 3,500, um, um, view counts, mm -hmm. only a certain percentage watched a certain percentage. So in gotcha. this case, it was less than a thousand people that actually watched 15 seconds of it. It could have been 900 people who watched at least 15 seconds of it. But the 3,500 people actually maybe watched two seconds of it or three seconds of it or four seconds of it. So that's why the smaller, the, the, the through the 15 seconds, the 10 seconds, maybe a good audience in this case would have been three seconds. But at the same time, if someone just sees three seconds of my video, I don't, I don't even care to put them in an audience. Like that's not enough time. Like, you know, that's why 15 seconds minimum um, is where you'll want to be no matter how big that audience is. But um, so, so here's what you do. Click on that. And now that right there would be part of your targeting. So now as we go in and we put in the city or the town that you're targeting, you'll scroll, scroll lower. There we go. So, so locations right there, the United States, that's where you'll put in your, your county mm -hmm. and that's who you're targeting. And then you'll change the age and then we'll, we'll, we'll actually target homeowners or, or people who follow. Um, there's a bunch of different interests, which we'll have to get into, but we'll get into that on, on our next call, but that's the detailed targeting, but go back up real quick, go back to the audiences. So for example, right here, you're targeting those who watched your previous video. That's retargeting. But what you're going to also do from, let's just say ad number two and on, because let's just actually number three and on, let's say ad number three and on ad number one was the video. Ad number two is now we're going to be shooting for leads. Ad number three, by the time we get to ad number three, you should have already had some leads by that time. And that, and those leads would have been people who landed on the thank you page. So I would have had set up a custom audience around those who landed on the thank you page. Those are my leads. So in this case, what I would do is I would click on exclude and then I would exclude that mm -hmm. audience. That's where you do it there. So click on exclude. Exclude. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Right there. Exclude. <sighs> and that's where you would exclude your custom audience of leads. Gotcha. Gotcha. So those folks don't continue to see ads. They've already downloaded your PDF. They don't need to download it again. Right? So audiences are the most important, man. That's the most important when it comes to Facebook advertising. That's why most people do not see an ROI because they're not retargeting their past engagers. <sighs> and when it comes to just advertising 101, a person has to keep seeing you. The, the magic in seeing you four, five, six, seven times, there's magic in that, especially if you're giving value and especially if you're educating people, which I'm telling you, Dave, if you're not comfortable with video now, I just know it's super easy. It, 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 it could be super easy for you. 
because you have props. It's not like you're going to just sit there and talk into a camera. Yep. Your props is a house. So yeah, as you're out the in the field, man, and you're inspecting a property, get a couple minutes of that on video mm -hmm. and walk me through what the hell you're doing. Hey guys, I'm inside this, this den. I'm taking a look at this water heater. Let me tell you what I'm looking for. Right? Like yep. that type of stuff, Dave, that's now content, man. Yep. That is now your new content, but that is now your new video ads. And, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm trying to really keep it super stupid simple for you where all we need is one of those per week. Mm -hmm. If you could do one simple two minute video as you're out at someone's property and, it, and it's value based, you're actually teaching me something. You're actually educating me on what you're doing in that living room. You're educating me on what you're looking at on that roof. You're, you're educating me on how, you, how you're looking at the foundation and what you're looking, looking for. You're educating me on what the hell you're doing. It's day in the life. Yep. That's that the power sense. of this, of, of, of your business is the fact that you can create, you can doc, excuse me, you can document, don't create. Some, mm -hmm. many businesses have to create ads. You are simply going to document what I do. Your, your ads. You're going to document what you're doing and that becomes your ad. And at the end of every video, at the end of every single video, Hey guys. And by the way, Click I here. have a free <laughs> home inspection guide that I'd love to give you. If you click learn more, it will take you straight to my webpage where you can download this 10 page PDF. In this PDF, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. I can't keep giving away for free forever. So click the learn more button now and download your copy now. See you on the next page. That's the yeah. call to action at the end of every video, man. And if you just stayed in, 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 in habit and, 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 and developed a habit to run a simple video ad like that once per week, target that county, retarget everyone who's watching the video, retarget everyone who's landing on the page but haven't filled out the form, exclude all those who actually filled out the form and downloaded the PDF, and we know that because they landed on the thank you page. If you kept it that simple, man, you would crush it. You would dominate the entire county. Every realtor, every homeowner will know who the hell you are. Yep. Because everyone's I, seeing you all the time. They're seeing you in their newsfeed. Mm -hmm. I, haven't, so, uh, I haven't seen any other home inspectors do it. Yeah, that not at way all. Around here. Not at all, man. Not at all. And, and if you do, it'll be random because, if, because they'll, they'll, they'll boost a post, they'll run an ad, and you'll probably see it once. Yep. And, and, and the reason for it is because they don't have their custom audience set up. They're not, they're not consistent, first of all. And then, second of all, there's no custom audiences. So they don't even know you watched it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they cannot retarget you and show you another ad. Exactly. These are the basic steps, man. This is what everyone misses. This is what everyone misses. They go and boost a post right away without doing any of this. They don't install the pixel on the page. They don't create these audiences. That's I what it's all about. I didn't know all that stuff existed in there. Yeah, man. That's what this is all about. You have to do this part or, or these ads are not going to convert. Um, people are not going to know who you are. They're going to see you one time and never see you again. We mm -hmm. want these people to see us over and over and over in their newsfeed because they keep engaging. Yep. You know, so, so that pretty much go open up the folder. Let's go back to the folder real quick, the ads manager folder. And let's just look at everything we bookmarked real quick. So we got dashboard, we got billing, we got ad account settings, we got settings, pixel, custom audience is perfect. So now, now we need one more. We need one more. Click on the dots to the left and let's go to events manager. Uh, that's manager. That's what uh, Windows has. Awesome. So right here, this is where we're going to be grabbing our our pixel. But again, it's we we can't install it just yet. Um. So hover over the triangle, the blue triangle. I'll have you bookmark this last one over here, and then we're going to click on custom conversions. And here's here's the best way I can explain custom conversions. Go ahead and bookmark this. Actually, you know what? Click the blue button. Let's see if we can dive deeper into it first. Un unbookmark it. Unbookmark. Uncheck, uncheck the star. Yeah, there we go. Just remove. Let's see if we, if we can go deeper. Click the blue button. Create custom conversion. No, the blue button in the, in the middle. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. There we go. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, that's fine. So X out of this, and then just bookmark this page. So let's call this uh, conversion or custom conversions. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here's, here's the best way I can explain what a custom conversion is. As you ran that first video ad, that was for video views. That's why you had several thousand, because you ran it under video views. 
as we now go and, and shoot for lead capture, that's conversion ads. So now we, as we put out more videos, these videos are not necessarily going to have a few thousand views anymore because that's not what we're shooting for. It's not what we're paying for. You paid for all those views. That was video views. That was an ad. In this case, what we're going to start paying for are leads. So the metrics, the cost is going to be a little different now. Not that it's going to be more expensive. It could be the same budget. It, the money has nothing to do with it. The amount has nothing to do with it. It's just how it's being allocated. We, we spent X amount, 50 bucks, for example, to get a few thousand video views. Now we go conversions. We're going to spend the same 50 bucks to get X amount of leads. Mm -hmm. So, so, at, so a custom conversion is, is so, so what I'm saying is now your future videos may not get thousands of views because we're not shooting for thousands of views. We're shooting for thousands of leads, right? So it's a different metric and it's a different way that Facebook starts to show that ad. They now start to show that ad to people. If you're retargeting custom audiences, they'll obviously show it to people who engaged before because you're retargeting custom audiences, but they'll start showing that ad to those that are likely to convert. Facebook has all this data, man. They know what the hell we're clicking on and they know it because of the pixel. Because everything we click on is either tracked through Facebook, but if I click learn more and I go off of Facebook, whatever website, even, even if you're nowhere near Facebook, Dave, and you're just, you're just randomly browsing the internet and you're looking at fishing, fishing poles, you're looking at hunting, hunting gear, you're on freaking whatever website, you're looking at random stuff. Today, it doesn't even matter if a person's running Facebook ads or not. If they're a legitimate business, today in 2020, everyone has their Facebook pixel on their website. So that website doesn't even need necessarily need to be running ads, but they for sure have their pixel. If they're, if they know anything, any website developer today, any advertiser online today, if they're working with any business, that pixel is on that website, no matter what. And that's how Facebook has all this data. So even if you're nowhere near Facebook, you have the damn browse the window closed. You don't even have Facebook open, but you're just browsing online, looking at random stuff. All this random stuff that we're looking at is being tracked by the pixel. So if I'm just on any random website buying some shoes, a pixel's on that website. That's how Facebook has all this data, because every website has a freaking pixel on it. Yep. Now, now there's the ones that don't. Like for example, your website doesn't have a pixel on it. Your actual website that you have right now. Yep. And I know that because I have a, a pixel tracker on my, in my browser. So I know what websites have a pixel and I know which ones don't, mm -hmm. but there are a handful that don't, but 99% of every active website out there most likely has a pixel and that's how Facebook tracks everything. So they know everything. They know what everyone's clicking on. And so as we go and run conversion ads, they start to show your ads to people who are likely to click and likely to give up their information. They have that data. They know who your perfect client is. They know that data, man. They have it. So here's how, how I can explain custom conversions. Custom conversions, go ahead and click on the blue button and then we'll end it right here and then we'll set up our next call. Custom conversions is, is so for example, a conversion, the audience is people who are landing on specific pages. That's an audience. That's a custom audience. But a custom conversion is, is here's how I can explain it. Let's say you have two pages. In your case, you are gonna have two pages. When I see your ad, I click on learn more, I go to your landing page. Mm -hmm. If I actually opt in and put in my name and number and download your inspection guide, I click send, me, send it to me now, I click the button, it takes me to the second page, which is the thank you page. Thank you so much for downloading my 2020 home inspection guide, right? That's a, that's a confirmation page. That is your second page. So with that being said, a custom conversion is this. Facebook, they know your goal is to run ads, to get people to click learn more, to go to your landing page. That's your goal. But what is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page. Yep. Because if I can get people to the thank you page, that means they fill out the form. That means they're a lead. Yep. So my ultimate goal is to get people to the thank you page. That's where I fill it out right here. So I'm going to let Facebook know what that thank you page is. So if you, so for example, at the, at the top, let's just, we won't be able to, to, to save it, 
but um, but let's just use this as an example. Just name it. And we would name this one leads. So a custom conversion is the thank you page. It's not the landing page. It's the thank you page. This is leads. So there's our pixel, humble home inspection. And then all URL traffic, click that drop down, which I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, it's just blank. So so leave it, leave it that way. And then and then click that link below. Select your own category. So what we would do is we would we would name it. We named it leads. And then we click on select your own category. Select your own. What am I missing here? Right there to the left. Select your own category. Select. It's in blue. Down. Oh, there it is. There we go. So this, hit the drop down recommended. This is what we would classify under leads. So scroll through and there's, there's all these different points that we could have went under. But in this case, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lead. So, so that right there. So here's the deal. As we go and set up our next ad, as we go and set up a conversions ad, this is what we're going to tell Facebook. We're going to tell Facebook, hey, man, we're not looking for thousands of views. We are only running this, this ad for one reason and one specific reason only, and that is to capture a lead. I need people to get to this specific URL. That's a custom conversion. So, so we're going to put in our thank you page URL right here once we get it. So, so whenever you schedule your next call, that call – set up your 14 day trial for Kartra. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So make sure you go back to the link in the email. Mm -hmm. So, so this is where that thank you page URL. So now we're going to tell Facebook, Hey man, I'm not just looking for video views. I'm not looking for people just to get to my landing page. I am specifically running this ad Facebook to get people to the thank you page. Here is the URL for the thank you page. I even named it under leads. I even put it in a, in a standard event. Um, category which is lead get me people to this page very specific so that's a custom conversion a custom conversion is around that thank you page okay gotcha. so we can cancel out of this so that's pretty much our first call man is setting up everything and and now everything is ready to go what we needed what we need next is the landing pages so we can put the pixel on the pages and so we can create the custom audiences around the pages. And so we can create the custom conversion around the thank you page. That would be our next call. Okay. Okay. So schedule That's that good. for, I, I'm pretty sure I have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then in the next Saturday. So schedule and okay. see if those times work for you um, on the calendar. And if any, if, if those times don't work for whatever reason, just let me know. And I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll adjust it. That sounds good. Okay. So go back to the folder real quick, the ads manager folder. And let's just look at that one last time. So we set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different um, book. We set up bookmarks. Yeah. Um, seven different bookmarks. And that's where you're going to live, man. That's where everything is at. You won't have to really click on anything else inside of Facebook. Everything is right there. Sweet. Cool. And like it's the it. dashboard where you'll, where you'll actually let's, let, let's spend, let's spend 30 seconds real quick on the dashboard. Go back to the dashboard. Go to the bookmarks and click on dashboard. And in here in the dashboard, this can seem super complicated as well, but, it, but it's, it's really not. You're not going to really click on any of this stuff other than, yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and let's, because we went to attempt to set up an ad, that's why that's there in draft. Mm -hmm. But let me show you how to just simply delete it. Just check the box and just, just delete it. So click on more, the drop down, yeah. see more, and then delete. And that would delete all three steps, the campaigns, the middle tab, mm -hmm. and the third tab. Okay, cool. So we're good here. And then as we go in, so the campaigns, let me explain this part real quick. The campaigns, all this is, these, these tabs, campaign, the middle tab, ad sets, and then the third tab, ad. All that is, is when you click that green button, that's the setup. So the campaigns conversions the ad sets that's where we put our custom audiences our budget our targeting our detailed targeting that's the ad sets and then the ads is the image or the video so it just makes gotcha. it easy when you come in here and you want to look at hey what area was i targeting again you'll look for the ad here in the campaign you'll check the box and then you'll click the middle tab 
And then you can open up that and look at, okay, I was targeting 45 plus. I was targeting this county. I only was spending this amount, amount of money. So it's very easy to look at everything once you, once you have everything running and you, look, you can look at it from here. The dashboard. Sweet, sweet. Okay. So this right here, man, was the most important. This is the setup. This is bookmarking everything. This is making sure that we're uncluttering everything and just trying to make it as, as simple as, as possible, as user-friendly as possible, just yep. knowing what, what bookmarks to go to and the only ones that we need to go to. There's really nothing else you need to, you need to focus on at all. That works. Okay. Yeah, so set, setting the table. Setting the table, man. Setting the table, and, and now it's crush time. So next call, whenever that may be, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, on that day, set up your 14-day trial. Gotcha. Is that? Because we'll need we'll need that for the next call. Get it out of there. Yeah, get so, out of this one. So I do go there. Would it be starter, silver, gold? Platinum? It'd be the starter. You'll just do a fourteen day trial on the starter. Okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah, but don't go works. don't go to Karcher.com. Just go to the link that I yep. emailed you. Yep. Go to that yes. link. Yep, I can do that. Okay, so set it up from there, and then and then we'll be good, man. And then and then All that right. second call is going to be focused on on everything inside of Kartra. Sweet. Okay. All right. Cool, man. So without, I used to take these calls to three, four hours a day, but then it it could get super overwhelming, man. So I just kind of I broke it down in these five different sessions, and hopefully it's it's not you know complicated or overwhelming. <laughs> well, I usually learn pretty quickly, and I I've already dabbled in the. Right. Oh yeah. There, it, it's pretty extensive, but again, that that's all there is. It's those mm -hmm. seven bookmarks. That's all, that's all we need to focus on. And as we grow, as we grow, as we grow and as we continue to run more ads, then, then there are lookalike audiences, but, but we won't, we won't even get to that, that just yet. Mm -hmm. That's definitely uh, interesting stuff and looking forward to learning more. And yes, man. Yes. I, I do. I do think this could definitely give the, uh, business in advantage oh man over it, it, everybody else it's going to build your brand unlike anything else man it's going to build your brand because again when you really think about it you have to put your face out there somehow that's why your mm -hmm. face is on your car that's why your face is yeah. most likely on your business cards that's why your face would be on any flyer your face has to be out there in the neighborhood yep that costs money man that's all expensive marketing anything offline is pretty damn expensive nowadays mm -hmm. So if I can just take my message and throw it through people's newsfeed at a fraction, yep. and, and, and if I can do it via video, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm, I'm going to recommend the heck out of it to get comfortable with video. I cannot encourage you enough. Get yeah. comfortable. I'm, and I'm telling I'm already you. already there, so. Awesome, awesome, awesome. V video is, that's kind of what. Video is, 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 I like to is do. king. Mm -hmm. Because again, offline, the only way for you to put out a video is run a commercial. And nobody wants to do that. Hell no, man. Cost too much. So at a fraction, I can run a video Facebook ad and get a ton of people in my, in my county to see it with a call to action to click learn more and give them a free download mm -hmm. to get them on my email list and start building an email list of a bunch of people I can communicate via email and build, another, and build a relationship. And the way we'll, we'll set up our email, because all that is inside of Kartra, inside the Kartra is going to be used for your landing pages, your email autoresponder, and your online calendar. That's mainly what you'll be using Kartra for. And so in Kartra, what we'll do also, that's a whole nother, that's one of our calls. I think that's like call number four. But on that call, we'll go over setting up an email automation series. So the moment someone opts in and they download your free home inspection guide, we'll already have set up a handful of emails that are automatically going out. Gotcha. Like 10 emails. 10 emails will go out every other day. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is David. Hey, I know three days ago you downloaded my home inspection guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about something, <laughs> right? These are basic emails that will be set up, automated, and the whole objective, just like the, obje just like the call to action in your video, in your Facebook video, in the last 10 seconds, your call to action was to say, hey, guys, and by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free home inspection guide that's the call to action at the end of every video but the call to action in every email is to get them to schedule a call yep 
So, so not only am I going to educate them more in the email, just a few sentences, just a few sentences, and these emails are going to refer back to the home inspection guide. So in my 10 emails that I'm going to have set up automated, all I'm doing is referring back to the inspection guide. So let's say your inspection guide is 10 pages. Email number three, hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. Hey, do you remember on page four when I was talking about your roof and what I inspect when I look at people's roofs? Here's what I meant by it. And by the way, Dave, if you'd like to jump on a call and really get all my secrets and strategies, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So these will be simple emails with call to actions to get people to click your link to schedule the call. That's the whole purpose of these emails. And if mm -hmm. we can set up a handful of them that go out automatically, that's leverage. Yep, save some I don't, time. <laughs> I don't want you sitting there emailing people. Not, uh-uh. Oh. No, That's they're no going fun. through my funnel and they're getting automated emails. Mm -hmm. Now, if they reply, if they reply, if they, the whole call to action in the email is to get them to click the link to schedule a call. But if they reply to the email and just have a random question, okay, cool. You'll have to physically reply to that one. Yep. But, but, but in a perfect world, if I have tons of people going through my pipeline and, and X amount are scheduling a call without me replying to an email, without me talking to anybody just yet they're just scheduling a call a percentage are scheduling a call on demand and now every day we're waking up to at least one new call a day because someone in my, in our email series scheduled a call like how game changing would that be that's why even when i look at the lowest numbers if if this brought me one extra appointment per day mm -hmm. because i have people downloading my inspection guide and i have hundreds of people now in my email automation receiving my automated emails out of those emails if just one of them per day was scheduling a call that would change everything oh yeah just one damn extra appointment a day yep you know so i always, I always look at worst case you know worst case scenario like it's like it's still we would still have an amazing roi on all this yep you know and and not to mention okay, it was only one extra call a day. But what about all the hundreds of people that continue to see your video in their newsfeed? 24-7 mm -hmm. while you're sleeping. Like that branding, that's why, that's why I always tell people, man, that type of branding, that video branding in people's newsfeed, regardless if they became a lead or not, that branding is important. People need to keep seeing you no matter what. And, and, and that's, right. that's the magic in it, man. That's the magic in it. You know, a ton of people are going to see it, but only a percentage are going to schedule an appointment every day. I'll take it yeah. because I know those people that are continually seeing me, I'm building a brand out of that. It might, they might not have given up their name and number now, but eventually they will because they're going to keep seeing me. Yep, eventually and they fit my that. target audience. So I know I'm offering what they need. Mm -hmm. It might be, not be now, it might not be tomorrow, but eventually if I keep showing my face, I'm going to create a brand that no inspection, ha no inspector has out in, out in this county. Yep. And that's how you want to look at it, man. It's a long-term play, but also a short-term play. Like we'll start capturing leads right away, but just the overall of it, it's, it's, it's long-term. You're building a brand, build your damn brand, Yep. you know? And, and just, I'm just convinced that this is the most effective and this is the most cost effective. If it was anything else, I'd be pitching you on something else. Yep. But right now it's, it's Facebook, man. We got to get in everybody's newsfeed because everyone and their mother is on Facebook. Yep. Except you for know? my mom. Except for your mom. My <laughs> mom is like, she, I, it blows my mind. Like my mom's on Facebook. I'm like, dang. But see these, these older generations, these, these boomers, right? These baby boomers, they're on Facebook they make, there's a large percentage of them are. Your mom may not be, but there's a large percentage yep. of them that are. And the reason why is for their grandchildren, mm -hmm. for their children and their grandchildren. That's the only reason why my mom is on it. My mom is on it to be looking at her children and to be looking at her grandchildren. Yep. And, and to be keeping in touch with her other random friends that she, because she's retired now. So it's like, damn. She can only read so many books. She can only, you know, sit there with my dad for so long. It's like she's on Facebook now. It's like mm -hmm. you'd be surprised on on the demographics of it, man. Everyone is on Facebook. So we got to just get them to know who you are, Dave. That sounds like a plan to me. Cool. So that'll be it for this call, man. Have a wonderful weekend. Schedule your next one as soon as you can. And then again, the day that you schedule it, 
on that day, set up your fortune day trial for Kartra. All righty. We can do that. And um, yeah, hope, yeah, hopefully the next uh, couple calls go well. We can continue to learn some more. And... Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a ton. We got a ton. I have it all laid out. <clears throat> I have the, I have the, the, um, the curriculum laid out for you, Dave. So nice. it's game time, buddy. I can all appreciate the uh, time today. Yes, man, for sure. Have a wonderful weekend and reach out if you need anything, all right? I'll be a message away. All right, sounds good. We'll talk to you later. All right, boss. Take care. Bye-bye.